This video would use visual metaphors to explain why objects are such a useful data type in JavaScript. In short, they allow us to keep properties and methods together in the same data structure when this is convenient, so that we can apply methods to the correct set of values inside of the object. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Now, imagine that we have to write a very single program where we take an employee's pay rate, the numbers of hours that an employee has worked, and then we calculate a salary. We just multiply one by the other. And let us say that we have one employee who is called Tom. Now, we can very easily do this with regular variables we have discussed already. We can have variables for pay rate, for hours, and then we can also place a function in a variable. This is not a problem. But then, what if we have a second employee, Tim? Notice that we have just gone from three variables to six variables. What if we have a third employee, Bob? Now we've gone to nine variables. What if we have 50 employees? Things get very cumbersome very quickly, unless we somehow start arranging and lumping things together in a logical fashion. And this is where objects come in. So instead of having a separate variable for everything in this case, what we can do is we can have the pay rate, the hours, and then the pay salary method lumped together in an object. And then we can have this object associated with the employee. For example, we will have a variable Tom and then the object associated with the variable Tom in memory would contain all of this information as it pertains to Tom. And we would have a different object that refers to Tim. That's the idea. We are lumping things together which are convenient and then we can place them in a single object. Think about a kitchen, the drawers in a kitchen. All of the items in a kitchen are very often lumped together by their use. We actually do that. We don't keep our cutlery in our bedroom. There is a reason for that. And this is why using objects is very useful. It does exactly the same things. It keeps like things together and then it allows us to apply methods to properties in a very convenient and structured and easy to deal with way. When we discuss objects, we have to be aware of some terminology that we use that refers specifically to the object value type. If we think about what we've already seen where we had a Bob property with an object associated with it, the entire bookshelf like feature in this case would be called an object. If we talk about an individual shelf, we would be referring to a property and notice that the property would have more than one thing associated with it. The property would have a key and this would be the name of the shelf and then it would have a value and this would be what is placed on the shelf. So you have to be aware of these terms. Very often we will talk about properties when we would be returning to both the name and the value associated to that location. Very often we would be referring to object keys and in this case we would be referring to the label that we use for the particular value within a property. And then very often we will be talking about object values, in this case referring specifically to the value which is held there. Something else that we have to be aware of is that when we place a function as a value within a property, in this case we typically refer to the property as a method. Now the function in this case is a regular function, it's a regular JavaScript function, but it happens to be placed inside of an object data structure. And in this case, we tend to refer to this function as a method. So very often we talk about object methods. This is what these things are. Now that we have given a broad overview, let us discuss objects in a more detailed and precise way. So we can think of an object as a collection of properties where each property has a key, i.e. a name and a value. Alternatively, we can think of them as an unordered collection of named values. Why unordered? Because it turns out that the order in which we place things in an object from a practical standpoint does not matter. 
So if you think of shelves on a bookshelf, it doesn't matter which shelf goes on top and which goes on bottom. All we are using is the names of the shelves, the keys of the key value pairs to find a given value. Now this is different from an ordered collection, for example, an array, which behaves differently than that. Why are objects useful? Well, they allow us to store related values in a convenient structure, in the same way as we would keep our cutlery in the same place in our kitchen. And they allow us to easily relate methods to the values they should operate on. So we can have a method which can only operate on a specific set of values without getting everything confused, without getting the individual objects mixed up.